To the COVID pandemic now and new worries tonight. According to the World Health Organization, we are on track to hit 200 million cases globally by next week. In the United States, Dr. Anthony Fauci is warning cases could double here in the next few weeks. And Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is expected to seek authorization to make COVID vaccines mandatory for all active duty troops as soon as this week. The Delta variant, a major concern as Broadway put on its first play since last March. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live in the theater district for us. Ali. Christina Maurice, the cast, crew, and fans of the play Passover are celebrating in the street behind me after a long awaited opening night. Everyone in that theater tonight was vaccinated in what city leaders hope is a model for all indoor venues. But with the threat of new COVID variants growing, health officials are trying harder than ever to convince people around the country to get vaccinated. It's a packed house on opening night at the August Wilson Theater for Broadway's first play performance in 17 months. This is my livelihood. I'm an actor and a stage manager, and this just, like, to see folks working and see folks back is just so heartwarming. Everyone who comes to see a Broadway show or works on one is required to show proof of vaccination, and the audience must wear masks. It makes me feel better that um, folks will be wearing masks. Dr. Blythe Adamson is the production's epidemiologist. Right now we're testing all the cast and crew daily with PCR testing. This is what we need to do to bring people back safely to theater right now. But the threat of the Delta variant still looms, and in an interview with McClatchy, Dr. Anthony Fauci warned a COVID variant even worse than Delta is possible. The rise in cases and new safety measures are why the International Auto Show had to be canceled at the Javits Center this month. The Met Gala just announced it will require all guests to be vaccinated for fashion's biggest night in September. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy lashed out Wednesday at anti-vax protesters. These folks back there have lost their mind. You've lost your minds. You are the ultimate knuckleheads and because of what you are saying and standing for, people are losing their life. But while Florida and Texas's governors have pushed back against COVID restrictions, those states now lead the nation in new cases. The CEO of Broward County's Memorial Healthcare System says 91% of his hospitalized COVID patients are unvaccinated. The hospital is so strained it plans to put off elective procedures to care for COVID patients. I say to these governors, please help. But if you aren't going to help, at least get out of the way. Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Meantime, the Biden administration is taking steps to require all foreign visitors to the U.S. be vaccinated. There's no timeline for that yet, but it is expected to come with an easing of travel restrictions. We're live from the theater district tonight. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. Allie, thank you.